Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back. Uh, welcome. <laughs> the, the thing on the sign says welcome back. Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies. So let's, uh, now we have a, I, I've already set up my profile. Since it asks for that immediately. Let's start adventure. Since this gravestone conveniently has that on it. PopCap Games presents... Plants vs. Zombies. Here we are at our house. Zombies across the road, or on the road. About to come into our yard. Click on a seed to... Seed packet to pick it up. We can also see how much it costs by the sun underneath it. And the sun over here is how much sun we have. So we have 150 sun. Energy at least. Sun energy. Also, I haven't played this on PC before, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go. And then we can place it on the grid of grass somewhere along here, so let's do that. Nicely done. We also need to click on the sun to get more so we can plant more plants. We can't re- uh, the- each plant packet takes a bit to recharge, so we can't keep spamming things. But we can't let the zombies reach our house, which luckily these pea shooters that we set up here We'll shoot at the zombies, and you really only need one to take out a zombie, but it's it's always good to have two going in each row, which isn't even a thing in this level. If a, a zombie reaches the end, though, there is this uh, lawnmower at the end, which will take out all the zombies in that row after one zombie reaches it. But after that, that lawnmower is gone, so we have to survive until that is done. Usually we can... Uh, usually each level has waves, which are shown by down here. We can see that we've reached the final final wave, which basically means it's going to send out a bunch of zombies all at once. But that is the first level, so let's click on the seed packet. And we get a sunflower, which gives us additional sun. It does cost 50 sun though to plant, so... That's a lot more zombies than last time. It, it's, it's just representing the zombies that you're gonna see in the level though. Anyway, we need to place sunflowers because sunflowers are extremely important. Try and plant at least three of them. Well, we want to have at least a row of them, so. Or, or a column, that's the one. Row would be very inefficient since the zombies eat plants when they get to them, so. But each sunflower will generate sun over time. And we don't have to worry about, uh, at the beginning of each level, we want to have these set up first thing. We don't have to worry about the zombies coming too quickly at least, so. We can take our time. I could even set up a second row, possibly. As long as you place the pea shooter like four or five spaces away, it should be able to take it out. So. But yeah, having two rows is more than enough sun, so. You probably just want to have one row, or one column. I'm going to keep getting that wrong, I'm sorry. But as the zombie takes damage, you also see parts of its body fall off. And that's how you can know how much health it has left. We can also see the wave icon down on the bar on the bottom of the screen now to show us when the next wave is. Which will be the final wave since it's the only one there. But that's something to keep in mind since we will actually be able to need that later on in future levels when there are multiple waves happening. Although I'm probably not going to pay attention to it and I'm just going to focus on building my, my garden I guess. My defense. Okay. Sometimes uh, zombies will also drop money, I believe. Possibly not in this version, actually. I might be wrong. But if that does happen, we need to click on that as well, so... Anytime there's something that you need to pick up, you should probably pick it up because it will disappear. Set up some more pea shooters. And looks like we're getting to the final wave. A huge wave of zombies is approaching! That's not good. Well, it's a good thing we set up all these plants to defend ourselves with. Okay, let's go with that. Also, I like how the, the first zombie in a wave will also be carrying the wave flag. Okay, looks like we're doing well. And looks like we've won.
we get a cherry bomb, which when we place it will instantly blow up and anything in the, uh, like in the surrounding eight spots of it, or inside of it, will get blown up. So that's a good way to take out zombies quickly if you need to, but it's more of a, a backup if you need it, so it's probably not the way to go. Okay, so we now have cone zombies, which means that they have more health than a regular zombie. So you probably want to make sure that we have double pea shooters on those rows that they spawn in. Okay, give me more sun, more sun, more sun, please, more sun, I need more sun. There we go, sunflower. I think I'm just going to go with the one row this time. The zombies are coming. Da, 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 da. I love the music in this game. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a I'm a fan of music. Anyway, that's that zombie taken care of. I'm not sure if I should hold off until the next zombie comes, or if I should just place. I'm gonna just place, and there's the zombie there anyway. So we we, we made a good decision with this. Looks like we're doing well. But if there's any cone zombies that are gonna spawn in, then I'm gonna be in trouble because I've only got one pea shooter column. You wanna be basically well balanced in each uh, in each row. Okay, there's a cone zombie, so let's take that out. Double pea shooters. It's the way to go. Okay, it's almost lost its cone. And once it loses its cone, it shouldn't have that much health left, left. Especially because we have double pea shooters going at it. Okay. Let's fill up this. Okay, so we have those three rows filled up now. Everything's looking pretty good. And we're getting close to the end of this level. Just gonna start setting up some more pea shooters just to make sure that things go by quickly. Very nice. We also could actually get some of the, uh... If we get enough sun, we could actually place down a cherry bomb as well. Because we haven't done that, even though we just got it. And actually, if we can, that should take out the whole wave. Basically. Doesn't matter how much health the zombies have, they're gone. And now we get a walnut. This is basically a uh, a plant that you can place out and it will just be eaten by the zombies. That's what it's there for. So it will slow them down for longer so you can actually uh, deal with them. Well, it's basically just buying you some extra time if you need it. It's not extremely helpful right now, but it will be later on, so... And if I do need the extra time, I can use it, so... Like, I could right now, but I'm gonna just wait a second. And hope that I can get enough sun for... ...some other stuff. If we're just generating sun fast enough, we should be able to just be fine. But anyway... Come on, sun, I believe in you. Okay, that's the row. Let's get some more sun. I could have already had the the first shooter out there already. That's fine. Have to wait for it to recharge as well, so. Come on, more sun. There we go. No, not that one, that one. Okay, there we go. We should be good now. <laughs> that walnut is uh almost almost gone. It's not very happy looking. But that's basically how that works, so... Come on, son. I believe. There we go. I'm slightly behind because of the thing that happened at the beginning, but it's fine. Okay, that's all the rows. With one, at least. Gonna need more than that. If there is any... 
cone zombies right now, we probably want to use a... What's it called? A walnut. Probably shouldn't have placed that there. That's not very efficient. I could have taken out one of those two. Faster. But I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway. For the moment, at least. It'd be nice to take things out faster. Okay. Let's get rid of you. I feel like my sun production is kind of slow at the moment. But I think that's just because I'm probably more used to later on in the game. Uh, okay. We need sun so we can get rid of that. Good stuff. Okay. We have things under control now. And that's, that walnut is gone, unfortunately. But I think I'm going to need a lot more stuff attacking right now because it seems to be... My, 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 the, the cones that we took a while to take out is my point. Let's take you out. And the wave is on its way, so... Just have to get through these three. Huge wave of zombies. Okay, there's a cone zombie up there and down there. That's a shame. I don't have triples on those lanes. Let me do something about that one. I mean, they don't, I don't think they're going to reach it, so. But it is nice to take them out efficiently. There we go. And we are done. Let's grab the shovel. Let's you dig up a plant and make room for another plant. So this means that if we uh, make any kind of mistakes, we can kind of fix it. Greetings, neighbor. The name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use your shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence. So every fifth level is usually something special. So in this case, we need to dig up these... Pea shooters, which is a shame because that would have been useful. But not for this. Okay, goody. Now that for the surprise. We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go, bowl me a winner. So, at level five is bowling. Which means that we get all these walnuts or red... Exploder nuts, these red ones, which basically just explode as soon as they hit something. And when we place them down on this side of the red line, they roll along the column and take out whatever they can. So, uh, but we have to wait for them to spawn in so we can actually use them. And it's probably better to wait for the zombies to get a little bit closer because they rebound and bounce around a bit, so. Which means we can hit more of them the longer we, we wait, but also the, the seeds are filling up the top of the screen. I don't think that we can keep them going for too long. The cones always take two hits with a, re a regular walnut, so... Just knock off the cap and then take them out. Let me see if this is going to work. Please go up. Thank you. Okay, I might explode a nut over here. If you can try and get the explode nuts in the middle lanes, that's better than the outside lanes. Because the explosion is uh, the nine... Or the middle one and the eight surrounding. It's better to have them on the inside than the outside. We can basically just keep bowling though and we'll be fine. I do see that's two zombies there, so we're going to need to take those out. The zombies are really going all out at the moment. Let me wait a second. Let's hopefully get an exploder nut. Maybe. Maybe. They're getting closer. We've got time. We've got so much time and also so many nuts. I kind of wish there was a, a quick button for doing things right now. That's fine. Let me just do that. I think it was actually a good plan to wait on that one. Uh, I should have done Exploder Nut. That's fine. 
Let's do that. That works. Okay, explode or not, let's go. Hopefully, be efficient. <laughs> I don't think that was efficient at all. I only took out one. Well, it's fine. Okay, just the middle ones. That's kind of inconvenient that they're all spaced out like this. The exploder nut was kind of wasted on that. Now we just have to hope that we get enough walnuts fast enough to take these out. If I can get an exploder nut, that'd be great. Although I don't think I need it since we're at the end of the, of the level now. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. There was also the lawnmowers to save us if we needed it. Potato mine explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. So this is quite a useful thing at the beginning of the round. Because these will take time to set themselves up, but then will be an instant kill on anything that steps on it. But only the thing that steps on it, not a area of effect thing, so it's, it's just that space basically. So we need to get that set up, and it's helpful if there's a zombie coming while you're setting up to just have that take care of it for you. So let's do that, and then sun please. Okay, so let's set this over here, and now it's going to take its time to set up before it can actually be used. It can be destroyed while it's being, being charged up, so that's the other problem with it, with it charging. But basically, we don't have to worry about the zombie anymore because it's going to step on that and be gone. Probably could have set it a little bit further forward, though. But I mean, I get time, I guess. I don't know if it's the waves of, of zombies are based on time or just uh, how quickly you take the rest of them out. Uh, probably doesn't matter. We're just going to take them all out anyway, so... Spud Pow! Achievement. Nice. This is also probably good if you're fighting any stronger, um, zombies that can't be taken out in one, like with one pea shooter or something. So if we had any problems with that, we'd be able to clear it without too much hassle. Okay. Keep collecting sun, and maybe we can set up some more pea shooters. Put that there, I guess. That was a bad choice. Let me put this here. We can also have them... The potato mines behind a walnut. Which means that once they all sync up at the walnut and break through, they will all step onto the mine at once. Which will be good, so... But anyway. Uh, there's a pole vaulter over here, zombie. Which will, whenever it comes to it, it's th th like the first plant that it comes up on, it will jump over. And until that, it'll be running. So you probably want to have it jump over something just so it stops running. It's quite an annoying zombie. Let's do that there to be efficient. Just a little bit more efficient. Let's grab that sun. Okay, let's take you out. Good thing I got the sun when I did. And hopefully we won't run into any more... ...pole vaulters. Also, the potato mine takes a while to recharge its seed, so we have to actually... ...spend it at a, a, the right time, because otherwise we won't have it available... ...to use again. Not very quickly, at least. Let me defend up here a little bit more. This over here is fine for the moment. We're getting enough sun now, we might actually be able to do multiple things at once. Possibly. Or maybe not. Huge wave of zombies. Pole vault are there, let me take you out. And by take you out, I mean take care of out the pole that you have. Ah, uh, but that should be everything for this level now. Spud pow. Oh no, that one's not gonna work. That's fine. Don't need it to work. Gonna plant that for no reason. And we get a new type of pea shooter. Costs more than the other one. But this is a snow pea. Shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. 
So whenever an enemy is hit by one of these, uh, snow peas, it'll actually turn blue and be very slow. Okay, pole vaulters and all the zombies we've seen before. Cool. Ready, set, plant. Let's go. We've also filled up this space up here, I think. So we can't actually get any more plants, <laughs> I guess. But we'll see about that, so... Let's just keep planting. Brains. Brains. Gonna put that there, I guess. Hopefully that's alright, because I feel like that's too far forward, possibly. Guess we'll find out. And if I'm wrong, then we're in trouble. <laughs> it's fine. We can probably get a pea shooter or most of the way to a pea shooter before that happens. Nope, we're good. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll set that up. I was tempted to go with the, um, snow pea straight away. But I think I should just do it snow regular piece for the moment. We can do different things. Okay, there's that one there. If I just get two more sun, because each one is worth 25, I can do this. Let's do that. And there we go, that's slowed down now. But unfortunately I spent a bit of extra sun on that, so it's going to be a bit slower doing other things. I might even need more sunflowers, so let me do that. Just so I can get more sun faster now that I'm spending more of it. That's not exactly where I wanted that, but that's fine. Uh, let me trip you up so you can slow down. I need something fast. Give me something fast. Sun? I have so many sunflowers. Why don't I have more sun? There we go. Get a review. Hopefully. <laughs> I think we should be fine. Once it's not running, it's fairly slow. There's also no defense on this row, which I was trying to do before. But it didn't really work out because I placed it there instead for some reason. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's getting close. It's a bit worrying, but I don't think it's going to last any further. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. Let me try and plant some more sunflowers so we can get more sun. For things. There's a cone zombie. Let me take care of that with a snow pea. Sunflower. This is pretty chill so far. But it will probably get more intense as we get further into this. Ah, uh, no, that's not good. Slow down. I want to set up some, uh, what's it called? Walnuts to make sure that they can't jump over them. Or can't jump over anything. So that they jump over them and slow down and can't jump over anything else. I can word things good sometimes. We have a good amount of sun now though. Which is good to see. I could even use more. It's crazy. Okay, there we go. I almost have two rows of pea shooters, plus a half of it being snow peas, so. This is what you like to see. We also have two waves of enemy enemies. Well, so two waves of zombies in this round, so. We have time. Might start setting up those there as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to set up more regular pea shooters. I guess I can. Snow peas are doing their job, so. I don't know if I need the sunflower there, but we, we can remove plants now with the shovel, so. We don't get any sun back, but we get the space, so. This is looking a lot better. It's so satisfying to, like, plant everything everywhere. Okay, there's a runner coming, but it's fine because it's already blocked off. And it's also slowed down. That, that's the other thing about having the snow peas, is they slow down the... the... I can't remember what they're, they're called anymore. You know what I mean. It slows them down and makes them good... It makes good things happen. Ah, uh, let's just put out more stuff, I guess. Why not? even just do a few cherry bombs to speed things up, possibly. Just a few, though, because they take a while to recharge. So 
slows down the eating as well, so that's good. I'm just going absolutely insane with the planting right now, just because I can. Yeah, jump right into the spud. Seems good to me. I have so much sun. It's crazy. Okay, final rope. Wave. <laughs> Found the word eventually. It's probably good to just leave some of the sunflowers in there just for extra HP defense stuff. Because they're basically a wall. Kind of. You can hear them eating the plants, but that's not going to last very long now, will it? There's so much sun. I don't need this much sun. It's fine. Anyway. Got a chomper. Devours a zombie whole, but is vulnerable while chewing. So basically this is kind of similar to the potato mine in a way, but also takes longer to... Like it, it can, it's reusable, but it has to recharge itself basically. Why is the game going s slow right now? I don't understand. Let me turn the thing off. There we go. Hopefully I didn't just break everything. Why is the... It just changed the resolution. What is happening? Hang on. Give me a minute. Did it change it? Oh, I might just be crazy. Hang on. I'm having a lot of problems with this at the moment. What? Oh, it's there. Why is that there? I don't know. Anyway. Everything's fine, everything's under control, let's select our plants because we can only have so many in our selections. We can only have six plants, so let's pick what we think we need. Tempted to not have the snow pea, but I'm gonna take it, so let's rock. Also, Crazy Dave is just a great character, by the way. I just wanna bring that back up since Crazy Dave was not only in here for a short amount of time. So this is level eight, so we're almost at the end of this world. And almost at the next interesting special level. We're getting there. Zombies are coming. But that's okay because I'm planting sunflowers. And and potato mines. So they can get spudded. Get all the spuds out there. Good stuff. Okay, we have all the sunflowers now. Probably. <laughs> the chomper is worth 150, so I could, I could actually place some more sunflowers if I wanted to. Might as well. You could also have the potato mines uh, as a last re defense if you need to replace them, like the... the... the lawnmowers, but they aren't as effective, I guess, so... But anyway, we have enough uh, for a chomper now. So I guess I'll set that out somewhere. The trumpet can only eat one zombie at a time though, so we have to be efficient with this. We can, however, have a walnut in front of it, which means that the trumpet will eat past the walnut just a little bit because that's how far they can reach. And we'll grab the zombie while the others, uh, others have to wait on the, uh, the walnut, so. But also we could also have two trumpets in a row so that the back one can eat the front one if they need to. So like that. That's that's the different ways to use this, so. So I should probably set up some pea shooters just to be safe. I could even have a walnut there. There's so many different ways to line up your plants. But there we go. Doesn't matter how much health they have. But these chompers are very useful to have. It's, it's just good to have them in general, so. Give me more sun. I feel like I should have a lot more sun than this, but I've only got two rows of sunflowers for what I'm trying to do. Considering how many we had last time, we had so many sunflowers. Oh, there's a uh, thing there. The bucket head zombies. They have a lot more health. They're basically the, the next level up from cone zombies. 
So they will just take a long time to take out. And once you... Like, there's a, there's a certain point when you can see their second eye a lot better. That's when you can tell how close they're about to be to take to the bucket falling off. But it does take a while, so we need to keep on top of things. And the trumpers are good for taking those out. Anything that can take out a, a, a zombie in one go is good against... Is, is good for, um... Words are gone. Are good for the bucket zombies. Tempted to move my sunflowers. Possibly. Tempted to replace a ro the one of the rows of sunflowers with pea shooters. Very tempted. Ah, uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Let me plant some more sunflowers out here. Even though it's a bit dangerous to do that. Since they could get eaten, but still. Hopefully I can get some sun out of it. I put one there. I just need to have a, a better row of pea shooters right now to take out anything that's got more health. And then the trompers can clean up anything else. It's basically my thought process, but we are at the end of the level as well anyway, so... That should be a pretty good defense. It's actually looking really good right now. There's a bucket head zombie there, but it should be... It shouldn't make it to the end, so... I think we are good. But I have to make sure everything's symmetrical. It's important to me. Even if it means taking out plants to make it more symmetrical. There we go, perfect. That's what I want to see. Some, it's so symmetrical right now, it's crazy. But there we go. And now we get the repeater, which basically is a better pea shooter, but it, it costs more. So the repeater will shoot two peas at a time. Like, just, yeah, two in a row. But it costs more, so. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.